Hello, how'd you do? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a huge declutter of our apartment because we are moving country. Um, if you're new here, I'm Madeline and I have a um, 19 month old toddler. I had to think a second here <laughs> about his age, but um, and we actually just moved to London, so I filmed this um, before moving. We got rid of a bunch of um, things, toys, clothes. Um, we were pretty ruthless because we didn't want to bring a lot with us. So yeah, I'm gonna walk you through how we decluttered our apartment. This is actually only a part of the declutter because I didn't get a chance to film everything, but um, yeah, you guys get the point. One of the first things we did was we took apart Victor's crib because uh, we didn't want to take it with us. We really loved it. But I feel like we wanted to get something a little bit bigger for him uh, because he's quite tall. Um, he's quite a tall baby so I feel like he won't fit in this one for too long um, or at least not comfortably. So we wanted to get something bigger, something with more storage underneath. So um, yeah, we wanted to take this apart and um, you know get rid of it or give it away. And obviously my toddler always wants to help so the second he saw um, <laughs> us doing anything to his crib, he uh, came straight to help us. Hey Victor! Hello. Where are you going? <laughs> Next thing we did was tackle this huge pile of toys. We had these uh, cubes in the living room where we pretty much stored most of his toys. Um, we also had a few in his room which I brought in here as well. And we basically made three piles um, for his toys. We had one pile to keep which um, we actually didn't really bring with us. Um, we left in the apartment some of them um, so yeah we did keep a few that are you know dear to us or that uh, Victor really likes and then the second pile that we made was one to throw away we didn't really have a lot to throw away but there were bits of you know like broken toys or toys that are not reusable um, and then we had a pretty big pile to donate and it was really satisfying to go through all of these toys my husband actually helped as well and obviously my toddler as well I mean how could he not <laughs> Next I tackled the storage under our bed. Now we had this um, storage area filled with pretty much um, blankets, throws, um, duvets and pillows and things like that. Um, so we just wanted to kind of um, you know see what we had in there, what's actually uh, usable, what we can donate again and yeah I just kind of went through everything and I also have uh, things like a nursing pillow in here and the pregnancy pillow so I'm just going to uh, donate those as well. Moving on to my shoes, we have this um, shelving thingy in our uh, hallway, this is like a hallway closet. So I'm just going to take everything out and I was actually pretty ruthless with my shoes as well. I only brought a few pairs of each that I know I actually wear so I did get rid of quite a few of those as well. One, two, one, two, three. I've been 
hands are small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look These bags that you can see here in the hallway are um, to donate with clothes and shoes as well moving on to my wardrobe i actually decluttered as i packed so you might have seen some of these clips in my previous video but um yeah this is how i kind of went about this i just took things that i wanted to uh, keep and put them in boxes to have them shipped to um, our new place and then i had a huge pile to donate and i had a few that i threw away but but not a lot of them because a lot of them were in pretty good condition yeah i was quite minimalist with this as well um, but I'm gonna be honest, I actually am really looking forward to go shopping there. So <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the reason why I didn't bring um, a lot of clothes. Here's the status of my closet. I've actually donated most of the things in there. And this box is full of more like um, autumn and winter things like knitwear and things like that. I haven't kept too much, but it looks kind of full because there's um, also a whole bunch of things in the middle. So that's my more thick knitwear kind of uh, box and then the rest is more thin layers so um, I think those all are going to fit in one box and then I'm going to keep these ones like my plain outfit and then I'm going to keep a romper like that and then the one that I have on this one right here and I think that's going to be it and maybe like some pajama because we are going to ship these boxes a week before we leave so for a week I'm gonna have to live off two outfits which is gonna be fine because I'm gonna wash them um, in the meantime but yeah that's what we're gonna have to do both myself and my husband and actually Victor as well so we're just gonna keep a few outfits that we can take on the plane with us because it's much cheaper to um, ship them like this in boxes rather than take a full um, luggage with you on the plane with clothes so that's what we're gonna do one other thing that I tackled in the kitchen, for example, is um, baby bottles and accessories that I had for feeding Victor. So I had quite a few things for when I was making his baby food uh, purees and just things like that. And I just wanted to kind of go through them and see what I still uh, need, what I don't. He's quite big now, so he actually doesn't really need a lot of... Uh, things for little babies and as you can see he was helping me uh, manage his box here then we moved on to his clothes um, and I actually decluttered his wardrobe in a previous video uh, which I did a few weeks ago so if you haven't seen that I will link it down below as well but um, I just wanted to kind of go through all of the clothes again and see what fit and what he maybe outgrew in the meantime um, he only had a few things that he outgrew but um, yeah we just kept um, very very minimal things that he needed uh, because i think in where we are moving he's only gonna have a dresser uh, with like a few drawers so i wanted to make sure that everything that he has fits in those and one thing that i was kind of dreading doing is decluttering this bathroom cabinet i actually decluttered this not too long ago as well but i just feel like it fills up with products so quickly i'm not even sure how this happens but it just does <laughs> so i decluttered this and i actually only kept a few products i wanted to take with me um i did give some of them away or i just um threw them away if they were almost empty or even expired they, there weren't too many expired but some of them were pretty much empty so i just threw them away because you know it's pointless to have them shipped all the way to a new country i put those in uh, ziploc bags and i put them in boxes the reason why i put them in ziploc bags first is because in case there's a spillage or anything like that i just didn't want um you know the products to get onto clothes or anything that's around in the boxes 
I put some products back on the shelves because those are either things that we're gonna use up before we move or things that I'm gonna take on the plane with us. So yeah, that's pretty much how I went about our declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more moving vlogs because those are going to be coming up very very soon. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye!